क्वेश्चन नंबर 96 सिलेक्ट द इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट फॉर आइसो बायोलेट्रल लीफ व्हाट इज अ आइसो बायोलेट्रल लीफ आइसो बायोलेट्रल लीफ इज द लीफ व्हिच इज सीन इन द मोनोकॉट सो इट इज द मोनोकॉट लीफ नाउ you have to select the incorrect statement about it the vascular bundles are nearly similar in size it is correct because the venation shows the presence of vascular bundles and in parallel venations the thickness of veins is almost same hence the vascular bundles are almost similar in size second option each cell of epidermis possesses chloroplast no each epidermal cell does not possess chloroplast only the gar cells possess the chloroplast third option they possess parallel venation it is true fourth has nearly equal number of stomata on epidermis so this is correct so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's move to the next question question number 97 read the given statements and select the correct option statement a vascular bundles are scattered and closed in barley stem see the barley stem is the monocot stem and in monocots the vascular bundles are scattered and they are closed for the secondary growth so this is correct b statement says that the xylem fiber is the only dead element of xylem no in xylem you will find that the tracheids vessels and fibers all are dead the only living component of xylem is xylem parenchyma so this is incorrect so only b statement is incorrect so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's see the next question question number 98 which of the following statements is incorrect first option starch sheath is the innermost layer of cortex in monocot stem what is starch sheath endodermis is called the starch sheath in the dicot stem why because in monocot stem endodermis is absent so there cannot be any starch sheath so this is wrong second bast fibers are devoid of protoplasm it is true why because bast fibers are phloem fibers and they are dead so they are devoid of protoplasm third the wood is technically secondary xylem this is also correct that the wood is technically secondary xylem fourth scleroids are thick wall cells this is also correct so the correct option for the given question is option number 1 let's move to the next question question number 99 sap wood differs from hard wood as the former so we have to choose the correct about the sap wood so sap wood is darker in color no it is lighter in colored as compared to the hard wood it is actively involved in conduction of water it is true that sap wood is involved in the conduction of water whereas hard wood does not conduct the water and minerals third one has lignified cell walls of vessels it is common for both of them sap wood as well as hard wood they have lignified cell walls of vessels so this is common for both fourth one is present in the central region of stem and root no the hard wood is present in the central region whereas sap wood is the peripheral wood so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's move to the next question question number 100 dicot root differs from monocot root in so dicot root no doubt shows the secondary growth whereas monocots do not show the secondary growth so dicot root has hypodermis no both of them lack hypodermis as there is no hypodermis in the roots second option having caspian strips in endodermis the caspian strips are present in the endodermis of both type of roots so this is also the similarity not the difference third one giving rise to the lateral roots it is also true for both of them that the dicot root and the monocot root they give rise to the lateral roots so again it is wrong fourth one dicot root differs from monocot root in formation of vascular and the cork cambium yes because it shows secondary growth so the correct option for the given question is option number 4 let's move to the next question mm-hmm. 